Hello everybody, it's Larry with Flying Eagle Comics and today I just wanted to do a quick tutorial. I've got this Ghost Rider number two. Um, I pressed it flat already because I'm going to remove the staples so I kind of jumped ahead but what I wanted to point out was this water stain. This is actually a very pretty book. I mean it's got great gloss and everything but we have this stain right here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the cover and we're going to give it an aqueous bath and see if we can get that stain to subside a little bit. The rest of the book is uh, very solid, very intact. So we'll give this a, a little bit of a bath and then uh, we'll move from there. This one is going to be a fairly simple clean, so I'll just try to keep it to one video. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is take these staples out. Um, I have my handy dandy staple tool from Immaculate Comics. Thank you, Rick. And we'll get to it. I have other videos out there that show how to uh, lift these staples very carefully and safely, I might add. So what we're going to do is carefully start lifting these staples up. Now I take this staple tool and I'm able to actually fit it over the staple and keep it aligned as we bring it up. Uh, I and others have made several videos of this, so I'm not going to go into great detail about it. So let's go ahead and just get this staple cleared. This one's kind of embedded into the uh, comic a bit. I know it's hard to see on camera, but uh, if I had three hands, I would be able to show you. Okay, this is coming up nicely. So we'll go ahead and keep this straight and the best we can. There we go. Now, that one's up and separated. I'm going to go ahead and push this through through the other side of the book. And... We're going to label this piece of tape I have over here for Ghost Rider 2, and we'll try to keep everything straight. I'm going to go ahead and straighten this right now before I get too far ahead of myself. There's a nice little slot here in the back of the uh, staple tool, and it happens to align perfectly with the staples to help them keep their shape. So we're going to press this out. And I know you can't see this, so you're going to have to take my word for it. Okay, that's one staple. I'll take this out. The staple looks really in good shape. I'm going to go ahead and label this as Ghost Rider 2, GR2. And now if you look at most of these staples, they're... Uh, oriented one side is actually longer than the other and in this particular case um, move this up so everybody can see it uh, here uh, in this particular case you have a longer end and a shorter end shorter end in this uh, particular book and most of the books happens to go on the bottom side so we're going to keep this oriented i'm going to go ahead and lift this tape put that down there and it's at the bottom and later on I'm going to keep this pressed aside so I don't make any mistakes and uh, put the wrong staple in the wrong hole or orient it in the wrong way. So this one's pretty embedded in here. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can just get an edge up. There we go. Just one edge is all we need. Then I'll take the staple tool. And I'll put it right over this other staple. And this will keep me from tearing the paper. Okay, there's one. Now I'll take the staple and put it through the hole. And I will keep this oriented. And we'll see if we can lift up this other side just a hair so I can get the other tool underneath. There we go. So we'll get this. This is a Teflon coated spatula. So we don't want to mar anything, especially the staples. There we go. Now that one is up. That one's fairly straight. And I'll 
work this one through the cover. There we go. Again, I'll put this in the alignment tool right in the little gap here. Let me raise this up so you can see this as well. So what we have here is a little groove and that allows for us to take and keep the staple aligned. Again, one side is longer than the other. And these are now nice and straight. So I'll lift this up, put that staple back down so we don't lose our alignment. Okay, so now the book has been separated. I'm going to keep all the wraps together because really the only thing I'm going to clean today is this cover. Now let's take a look on the back side. There's no staining up here. It appears to be just in this one area. So we'll set these wraps aside for now. And I'm going to bring this closer to the camera so we can see. Yeah, as you can see, it's... Uh, we don't know what it is. Could be coffee, could be something else. And it looks like there's a bit of foxing in here. So we've seen that, so that might need a little bit of peroxide, but right now the gloss on this is really good. So let's go ahead and give it an aqueous bath and uh, see what the results look like after that. Okay, we're back. Now, I placed this in a tray and I put the cover on a piece of Holitex on the bottom. Uh, we're going to keep this sandwiched in between. So I'll put another piece of Holitex, and we're going to completely submerge this book. I have 300 milliliters of calcium hydroxide um, mixed with just a tiny tad of hydrogen peroxide. So we're going to go ahead and pour this on. We're going to watch it. And we'll check on it. We've poured us nice and smoothly over the top. This cover is fairly white. So what we're going to do is make sure these 300 milliliters completely submerge the book. Because this will prevent tide lines. And tide lines are kind of death. That's what this is right here. This is a tide line. So we're going to let this book soak for a little bit. Uh, we'll roll it back and forth. This will uh, complete a deacidifying process as well as hopefully remove these tide lines. And once we do that, we're going to put this into the blue light chamber. And that should help with a lot of the foxing here. All right. We'll, be, we'll check on this uh, in a little bit. I've gone ahead and poured all the liquid off. And, and now it's a simple drying process. And in this particular case, uh, I'm just going to use some paper towels. So we're going to go ahead and soak up what remains of any liquid in here. And we're just going to blot it all up through the Holitex. We don't want to remove the Holitex. Now, once we get this blotted up, I'll put another sheet of... Uh, of paper on it. Make sure the Holitex stays down here. There we go. So this is just paper towels. And as you can see, the Holitex is starting to show through. And we want to dry this properly under pressure. That way everything stays straight it doesn't pull it doesn't wrinkle okay so this is absorbed quite a bit so now what we're going to do is grab this whole thing and turn it over just like that and do the same thing on this side so by soaking up as much as we can, this will expedite the drying process. And I'm going to change the paper towels on this for, you know, the 
probably after about five minutes and then again after a couple of hours and then it will sit overnight in the press and then we'll come back to it all right this is looking great all right so let's do this one more time these are nice and damp okay so let's put a fresh set on and then we're going to take this and put it in the press and we'll be back after we're ready we're back it's now the following day uh, let me scoop this up so you can see it and i'll lift it up closer to the camera it's got nice gloss here uh, there's no uh, loss in the glossiness it did go into the uh, blue light chamber it was rehumidified and pressed um, and all in all it looks pretty good now up here is where we have the the staining hopefully you can see this okay in the camera so let's flip this over it's still there but it's so much lighter so the uh, calcium hydroxide uh, aqueous bath definitely did a, a good cleaning on this cover i'm very happy with it um so i'm not going to do anything to the uh wrap so we'll put this back together and rehumidify it and then we'll uh go ahead and uh press it and uh submit it okay the book is now out of the press it's been reassembled staples reinserted and the book is no worse the wear. The gloss is phenomenal on this. Looks very nice. And people get a little bit scared about the aqueous bath, and, and as well they should, actually. Um, it came out very nicely. Let me hold this up so you can see the back of the cover. Let me turn this light down so it's not so strong. So right here at the back of the cover, if you look, this is where the uh, water stain was. The front cover it's gone as well now it's ever so slight just on the inside here as you can see there's a little bit of staining right there and on the inside of the back cover it's there so now this book is ready to be sent off for grading so that's exactly what we're going to do uh, i'll put it in the next shipment out Anyway, thanks for watching, and I really appreciate you doing exactly that. And please subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to get as many subscribers as I can. I try to put out about four videos uh, during a week in various books. I have three projects going, and uh, please enjoy and comment if you'd like.